What is up guys? Welcome to episode one of our Ghost Recon Wildlands gameplay walkthrough. Let's go ahead and get started here on the campaign. I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Bolivia. We came here, we bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño. So we've got a character creation screen here, so let's go ahead and run through that quickly. 
not going to get too detailed. Uh, oops. Okay, that's good. Facial hair. Or facial detail. <laughs> um, yeah, that's good. I kind of just want to play. Let's change our clothes here, though. Make them yetted. Sleeves. Clothes. It's casual. Double layer. Hoodie. Sun's out, guns out. Tank top. Pants. Jeans, nah. These are cool. Let's go with those. And uh, hiking shoes. Yeah, the work boots are fine. Ghillie suit. We don't need that. Yeah, we're good on that. Accessories. Just leave the Oakleys on. What is this, a mask? No, we don't need that. Baseball cap, what else they got? <laughs> Cowboy hat, we should do that. That's super American. Headset. Oh, you can't do both? Yeah, we'll just rock the cowboy hat. Handwear. Kevlar gloves. Those are cool. What was the last one? Backpack. Drone. Dun, dun, dun. Camelback's fine. No, we don't need that. What else we got here? Random outfit, costumes, save character. You will be able to change your difficulty. Let's start with regular and see how it is. If it's too easy, we'll go ahead and move it up. I don't know if it's gonna start the campaign automatically or take us to another loading screen, let's see. Loading, loading, loading. I did play the beta briefly, and from what I got to play, it was fun. Just having to wait a little while before I played the game, but looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll be able to get through the whole campaign. I know there's a lot of side quests and things like that. We'll try to stick to the main storyline. Maybe do some co-op at the end, or I'm sorry, uh, some adversarial at the end. but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. 
least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? I flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pacatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we are here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there's a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaro is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Looking like a bad motherfucker with our cowboy hat. Da -da -da. All right, let's begin. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology you always sprint. ends up with more bodies in the ground. Go. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? 
end of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. Get First in, objective, fuckers. track down oh. that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. It's a radio station. Damn it. Almost there. to wipe out okay let's go ahead and park here make our way up these stairs stealthy as possible how do you squat down okay is that a target sure is okay hold left trigger to aim and mark enemies and their defenses press up on the d-pad and to use the drone wait what Press up to use the drone, okay. Press down on the D-pad to use binoculars. How do you mark the enemies though? You just hold your left trigger on them? Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. How do you do that? Is it on? Yep. Can you get close enough to where I could shoot him? Got eyes on the target. Let's move. Keeping an eye out for everything. Synchronized shots. Aim a target and press A to sync markets. Okay. Shoot or hold A to initiate the sync shot. All right, simple enough. So I should mark the ones that I'm not going to. So I'll, I'll mark, you know, say there's four guys, I'll mark three of them, and then I'll pick the one that's not marked and I'll shoot. And hopefully that'll set off a chain reaction and they'll shoot the other ones. And co op sync marks help you prepare your assaults. Or you just have a stupid teammate who does his own thing. But. No guys to my right. Just Mark. spotted one with submachine guns. Mark two. A target carrying submachine guns. What the fuck? I thought I was supposed to shoot them. Come out. How do I make them shoot him? Okay, we're cool. Should have paid more attention to the tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing right now. What does it say cross? What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> We need more ammo. Should be okay. I think that's what these green things are. They're ammo depots. Or not. Tech supplies. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Oh. Shit. No. No. 
No. Roger. Let me get in position. Sink shot acquiring. Say the old Sicario over here. There, in the watchtower. Where's this? He's too far, I can't sink him. Looks like he's out of view. Let me make sure there's no one else near him. Oh, there's a cooldown on the sink. Makes sense. I see a second target. Interrogate the Santa Blanca Lieutenant. So we don't want to kill this guy in the yellow. I don't see him. Next to the sandbag emplacement. How the fuck does he see him? I should probably be more cautious over here. I'm positive there's a guy standing somewhere we're not going to see. Why is he facing? Oh shit! Was there another guy in there? Why did it spook him? I got myself. Oh shit! Did he fall out the window? Damn it! Is he spooked? Shit! How do I switch my um? the way my gun is. There we go. Oh, he's facing the other way. Let's go grab him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotcha, yeah. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendas? Chill the fuck out, cabron! What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing? He's at Atoya Farm. Go on! Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you! We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Gonna make sure we mark all the guys. Got another tango. There's two up there. Let's get moving. Cartel isn't gonna wait around for oh, us to he, track down like and rescue seen us. We go up here in the tower. Got another tango. I got a third. Guys, see any other ones? There's a guy right below us. You hear him? Behind the building. Yeah, they already marked him. Shit, where was that guy that was right here? To the left. Remember, he was right here to the left of that box. Hopefully, he's not walking up the staircase. Why can you only sink one guy? Stupid.
Got him. He's down. Poke the hornet's nest. So much for being stealthy. Poke your head up, bitch. Fuck. Now they're gonna send reinforcements. Damn it. Here's some ammo. Inside this storage thing. Pick up ammo. We'll wait to change our loadout. Everything seems to be on par with what we already have equipped. Stick with what we got. It's like we have to ride now. Shit. There we go. Make sure I'm facing the right freaking direction. I gotta get down here. Four mil drive! Alright, this is embarrassing. There we go. Ah! It's hard to turn. Probably could ride right up the cliff here. Well, that wouldn't make much sense. We're still pretty far. We'll stick to the road. There we go, I see where we need to be. Almost there. Oh shit, get off! I get off! Targets. Fuck! If Amaru gets Fuck. killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Stealth. Press YY to use your handgun. For a stealthy approach, press B to crouch and hold B to prone. Detection arrows indicate who is spotting you. Got our pistol out. Already has its silencer on it. We get all these guys targeted. Marking a tango. He's close to that local. We just unlocked a skill point. Let's go ahead and add something. Physical, stamina, rebel support. Uh, an extra sync shot. That'd be nice. Is that not available? What is it? Next rank, one more. Guess we can't add that yet. Um, oh, it says it right there. Wait, what? 
We can pick from drone, item, or physical. Or squad. Let's do... Let's do stamina. Oh shit. Look how close this guy's getting. Yo, cartel gunman. In the field. Turn around, fool. There's no one over here. It's gonna take so long to be stealth over here. We should just point him out inside the barn. Take a look. You're gonna get made. Hang back. I think we just take them all out. Shot you, dude. Damn it! Come on, game. Is that bush really stopping my bullets right now? My aim right now is just embarrassing. Look at this. What the fuck is that? He's not my fault. Do it, dude. It's only shot one more marker, but I'm sure there's more. Get out of there, man. Gotta save you. We all in one piece? Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Vamanos. Let's go ahead and take the helicopter out of here. Drive. Here's the tutorial for the helicopter. Press right trigger to throttle up. Use left trigger to throttle down. Push the left thumbstick forward and backward to adjust your pitch. Release right trigger when using left to perform a quick turn. Okay. Let's go, guys. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Get some altitude here. Then we can speed our... Speed up our helicopter. I'm pushing the thumbstick too far forward, it's doing like a nosedive.
Where does he want me to land? On the freaking roof? I don't know. Just right in this area. This is it. Hold up. There's a weapons case here. Douche. Got it. Clutch. Clutch landing. the most gracious of hosts. These Aukas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned them. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Polito is coming through. That's the rundown on La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Investigation. Explore province to find information about its Bouchon. Select major intel waypoints on the TAC map. Unlock new missions. This is the video. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. <laughs> One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER. All shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. Slayer files. Oh yeah, I just pressed that. Oh, I see. This is the video archive. Okay. 
All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it here for episode one of our walkthrough. In episode two, we'll continue on with the storyline and see how far we can get into it. Thanks for checking out this episode. Check for episode two soon. Thank you. Goodbye.